Hello everybody, I am just sat here editing the video you're about to watch. I just wanted to jump in and say Cambodia is actually so much more than what you're about to see, but also it's something that we must never forget. I'm not going to do an awful lot of talking through this. I think it's just something you just have to sit down and be with your own thoughts. So I have just ordered a tuk-tuk for $20 to do a private tour. His name is Petra and we've got Prison 21, the Genocide Museum and I think it's going to be a long tough day today. My tour guide is so nice, we've just come down this road and he's like, I'm so sorry but the road is bumpy. Wow, the roads are crazy. It's like no rhyme nor reason where people are coming and going. It's six dollars to get in and that includes your audio tour as well. Visiting the killing fields in Phnom Penh is one of those experiences that really stays with you. The site is located just outside the city and is now a peaceful place. It's impossible not to feel the weight of history as you walk through it. The grounds are quiet and there are memorials and displays that share the stories of what happened here during the Khmer Rouge regime. It's a powerful reminder of the tragic time in Cambodia's past, but the way it's presented is thoughtful and respectful. Visiting is a deeply moving experience, made even more poignant by the contrast between the site's tragic history and its serene present day setting. As you arrive, you are greeted by lush greenery that covers the grounds with tall trees providing shade and a sense of calm. The landscape is dotted with pathways that gently wind through the area, inviting reflection. One of the most tranquil spots is the small lake that sits at the heart of the site. The water is still mirroring the sky and surrounding trees, the combination of the serene natural surroundings and the sobering history creates a powerful atmosphere of remembrance. The greenery and the lake with their quiet beauty stand as symbols of the healing and resilience of the Cambodian people, offering visitors a space to reflect on the past and pray for a peaceful future. Stupa filled with victim skulls is a sobering sight, but the focus is on reflection and remembrance. It's an important place to visit to understand Cambodia's past, reminding us of the importance of peace and a better future. No words. So I've just arrived. It was $10 to get in and that includes the audio tour as well. These graves are the last 14 people who died here. This place, Prison 21, used to be a high school before it was taken over by the Khmer Rouge.
we're gonna go and find some food now. Today has been a lot. This is the Royal Palace. So we just left them behind and now we're gonna go into the Royal Palace. It's been a really long day so far. It's about half past two in the afternoon. My brain is processing a lot of information right now. So it'll be nice to do the palace after the two that I've just done. It costs $10 to get in. You get your ticket and when you come through, you get a little map as well. Wow, that is gorgeous. Well, that was beautiful. Really enjoyed walking around here. And it was a little bit of light relief after the prison and the museum. Leaving the palace and now off to Central Market. Wow, I can honestly say I've never seen a market like this. It's now four o'clock and I am exhausted. It's been such a long day. So I've just said, let's go back to the hotel and I will put my tuk-tuk driver's details with his telephone number in the description below if you want him to take you on a tour. He was really, really good. 